September 2020 Tarot Scope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibration. Good, so this month for our, in fact before we get started, uh, this month I'm telling everybody, so when I do a reading for a sign, I am tapping into the energy for that whole sign. So whether this is your sun, your moon or your ascendant, not all the messages are going to resonate for everybody and not every single thing is for every single person. You'll know what's for you because you feel it and that's the way that I do my readings. Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine too, all right? So for our actions and interactions with the world at large, this month we get... The Ten of Wands. So this is about us releasing our burdens. And it's also, this month we're about to start really upsetting the apple cart, I feel. Because this is going to be a month where <laughs> I feel like a lot of Aquarius people are about to start getting real honest about a lot of things. Not that, I mean, one of the things that Aquarians are known for is their brutal honesty. But I kind of feel like for a long time maybe we've been either censoring ourselves or we've been worried about what other people are going to say or what they're going to think. And I kind of feel like we're peeling that layer back now. It's kind of like, you know what, I'm done trying to censor or edit myself for other people. So now I'm just going to start giving it as I always did, you know, like raw, ready. Like this is it. This is what I have to say. Now, remember with the Ten of Wands, it often says people may not necessarily be ready for what it is that you're going to say. However, the energy of this month says that you must say it anyway, right? There's this energy of really having to be that authentic, to really stand up and stand out for yourself in some way, shape or form. Now, the other part of this with the Ten of Wands is uh, this is about movement. It's a, can sometimes can talk about a move. So you could be uh, looking at new places to live. You could be deciding, you know, finally deciding on an area or a place that you want to live and you say right okay you know what when I'm ready when I've got the funds behind me like whatever it is that's the place that I'm going to or that's the place that I'm ready to be at or to be in so this could be a really interesting one for sure um, I mean this ten of wands as well says that you are ready to get going and you are ready to release those burdens especially if they are of a social construct sort of nature um, you know, that's an interesting one as well, because the thing that's popped into my mind is, uh, you know, maybe you're coming out, uh, you know, and there are many closets to come out of before anyone starts. Um, you know, there's the broom closet, if you're, that's what we witchy pagan folk say, like you're in the broom closet if nobody knows that you're a witch or a pagan. Uh, you know, if you're a gay man or, a, you know, a gay woman or, you know, whatever, you know, orientation you are, this could be a coming out month. It really could. There's definitely an energy there. Um, what is the other one? You know, like I said, there's a broom closet. There is the there's the nerd closet. Do you know what I mean? Like in some way, shape or form this month, you might be divulging something about yourself that people don't necessarily know about you. Uh, you know, maybe there's a part of you that you're ready to be out and proud about. Um, for your money and materials, we have the Knight of Swords. So uh, especially with the, the Ten of Wands in close proximity, when it comes to your money, materials and finances, just be sure if you're going to purchase something or you're looking at something, be sure that you're actually going to want it for the long haul because I kind of feel like whatever you're thinking about purchasing or doing with your money this month, you won't be able to take it back. It's kind of one of those things like even if you've got the receipt, there's not going to be a return policy on it. So just be really cautious of that. When it comes to your finances, you could be really, you know, you could feel that urge to spend this month like, you know, yeah, fuck it, let's just buy everything. Uh, be aware of that. When it comes to your physical health, this month, um, you could really start, you know, hitting the workouts, maybe going over with the diet because it's next to the Ten of Wands as well. Be sure to look after your lower back. It's all well and good going at it hammer and tongs, you know, for seven days straight. But what happens then when your body says, OK, well, you know what? Too much, too fast. I'm shutting down. Uh, think long term, right? Like, like Kelly Rosano always says, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. 
Um, and then for your uh, home and environment, it does look like for some reason we're being pulled out of the home. You know, there might be something that we are called to urgently or something that needs to be done elsewhere and you're kind of drafted in for it. Um, you might not necessarily want to be, but unfortunately it's going to happen regardless. That's what it feels like to me. All right, for our communications and conversations, we have the Ace of Swords. Um, these two cards actually came up for Capricorn. Uh, and I'm really deadly intrigued now. Uh, not these two cards for Capricorn. I think it was Sagittarius. Um, and so with the Ace of Swords, it looks like there could be either some sort of a contract. Now, before, because it comes up here with the Knight of Swords, this could be an invite or an interview of some sort that comes up very spontaneously. Um, you may find, <laughs> right? So you've got all this new energy of, right, new me, telling it how it is, da 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 you know, this sudden need and urge to really start speaking the truth pops up and then all of a sudden you have an interview for your dream job and, you know, you're kind of in this energy where you're like, well, I don't give a f <laughs> you know, and they're like, uh, okay, so we'll call you in a few, never, <laughs> you know, so just be sure, like, it's all well and good, right? Be your authentic self, be open, be loud and proud about everything. But uh, find a way to be your authentic self that uh, reflects the space that you're in. I'll give you an example. How I, so when I'm doing readings, how I speak to somebody that is younger than me would not be how I spoke, or, or somebody that's around my own age would not be how I spoke to somebody that was like 50. Uh, you know, you have to measure your level of interaction and respect and divulgence. Uh, you know, you need to be adaptable like that, but it does look like there's either some sort of interview, job offer, some sort of meeting that comes up. It could come very spontaneously. You might not even see it coming and it's like, boom, just, kind of drops in your lap and you're like wow okay um so i need to decide on this now remember the knight of swords tends to speed things up and the ace of swords is that communication or the interview or the meeting of some sort but it is that signing of a contract as well for our heart and half we've got the ace of wands right so look at this you've got two aces aces are new beginnings fresh starts you've got the ace of wands and the ten of wands so got that whole kind of sandwich energy going on here now two aces in the tarot can represent sometimes secrecy or trickery so just be sure this month that um if something doesn't feel right or it feels too good to be true it really is okay especially with the energy that we've got going on at the moment remember mars is going to go retrograde there's the whole square to saturn uh, and pluto as well that's taking place so if something feels too good to be true or you you're questioning it and you're thinking no something about that's not right trust that right two aces in the tarot represents secrecy or trickery um so just something to be aware of now your uh, ace of wands when it comes to love and relations for those of you that are single you could be meeting somebody but my advice is keep it at the fun level. Don't expect anything else beyond that because you won't be getting it. Somebody might try to sell you a pipeline or a dream or a whatever, pipe dream even. A uh, pipeline. <laughs> ah, you know, so just be, be aware of that energy. For those of you that are partnered, um, this could be a month where maybe your partner omits to tell you something. They didn't lie to you, but they left something out. Maybe they didn't think it was relevant. Maybe they were trying to protect you. Maybe they thought that you would fly off the handle. If you then prove them right, part of them is gonna be justified. So it's the, the best way to probably approach that is to say, look, you know what? You could have told me, you know, can we do better next time? Uh, the other part of this as well, um, I feel like whether it's you or you, somebody starting something new, and I feel like that new uh, endeavor is gonna take a lot of time either out of the relationship or take you out of the, the place that you're in. So the amount of time and energy that you can devote to the relationship may be diminished. Um, you know, maybe it's because of that. Maybe they say like, oh, you know, it's fine, but inside they don't feel that it's fine. Just something to check in with for your first week of the month we have the justice card underneath the ten of wands so there is a big decision to be made and it does look like 
uh, a lot of us, which is, I'm really starting to freak out a little bit here because I've already moved. And I'm like, I don't know if I can handle another one. Moving is, it's is not an energy for me. I can't handle it. It really stresses me out. Um, so just something to consider. The other thing is as well, remember I said about that coming out energy. This is about you committing to being more yourself than you ever have been, right? Unashamedly, unapologetically, unabashedly. Like this is it. What you see is what you get. I'm not gonna uh, embellish. I'm not taking anything away from it. Like this is all of me. You either love it or you hate, or you love it or you loathe it. Take your pick. Either way, I'm gonna be cool. Um, but yeah, it does look like, I don't know, there's something about the home or the place that you're in or the locality, it's changing. It, you know, and it may be as well for some of you, maybe a partner or a family member is called away suddenly. Um, that's something else that you could consider here as well. Second week of the month, we have the Hermit card underneath the uh, Knight of Swords. So that's an interesting one because your Hermit card is kind of saying, right, um, exercise wisdom, exercise patience, and then the Knight of Swords is kind of just charging in. Be very cautious about what you put your finances or your resources into this month. Um, if you can, this is a month for you to save. It does look like a lot of you will have the potential to save, which means there's a surplus of money coming from somewhere. I don't know whether this is the new job or this is the new work prospect, but there is. it looks like there's some sort of assistance that comes in financially, but rather than sort of use it willy-nilly or frivolously, you know, maybe put it away and be sensible with it. For your third week of the month, you have the Lover's card underneath the um, Knight of Swords. So there is a choice to be made, right? When it comes to work, when it comes to contracts, there is a choice that's gonna have to be made this month, a double hit of that choosing slash contractual energy is coming through so this is nice i mean it could be a new job it could be uh, a better job maybe a reassignment of some sort that comes in uh, when it comes to love and relationships like i said it kind of feels like you are meeting somebody this month but there's also somebody else in the picture so you're kind of either having to choose between two partners or choose between two job offers or you know it's kind of like your focus is going to be pulled in lots of different directions this month and you're gonna to have to just find a way to navigate it um yeah it's interesting because one of the partners that i feel is coming through is is genuine and one of them is just for a good time like they can tell you all the stuff that you want to hear but it's not them and then for your fourth week of the month, you've got the sun card right underneath the ace of wands. There is a lot of fun, a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of energy and heat here. Uh, this could be a really steamy month. You could be having some real sort of naughty fun, but you could also be forging a real connection. Um, and interestingly enough, anything or anyone that does try to pull the wool over your eyes or... Um, to trick you in some way shape or form you'll find out because it's the sun card the sun card brings everything to light even more so than the high priestess right because it's you know nothing can hide in the light once the the light is shone you see everything so really really interesting um but yeah i feel like there's two people coming in for aquarians this month one of them is going to be genuine possibly older maybe more wise or more mature or very settled in and of themselves and then the other is going to be uh, a little bit more one could be mr right and one could be mr right now you know what i mean <laughs> for your or missus or they you know um for your key to the month you've got the nine of wands uh Slow and steady is gonna win the race this month. I feel like you're gonna to want to push. Remember Mars goes retrograde on the 9th of September. You're gonna to wanna to push, but the energy isn't there for it. And I think you'll end up doing yourself more damage in the long run. Um, look after your physical self this month as well, because it looks like you might be in for some touch wood knocks and scrapes, all right? But yeah, if you are called away or called into something, um, be prepared to move quickly. Um, it looks like you're being called away for something and uh, I'm intrigued to see what because as you know I am a sun sign Aquarius. So with that said I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.